In this lesson, I will be demonstrating how to use object snaps when drawing, and also specifically the difference between using a running object snap and an object snap override. So first of all, for running object snaps, these are snaps that are always on. And for example, I want to create a fence that starts at the end point of this building and goes to the center of each of these little fence posts and then eventually comes back down and connects to another endpoint. So the object snaps that I'd, I will be needing on this particular lesson are centers and endpoints. So your object snaps are found down here on the status bar. This is the object snap button. And if I click the arrow next to it, I can see the different object snaps that are available to me. And like I said, I wanna choose endpoint and center. So I'll go ahead and click those two to turn them on. You can see the little check marks indicating that they're on. Then I'll go ahead and just hit escape. Click back out on the screen to get rid of the menu. And now I can go ahead and draw in the fence. So when I begin with my line command, I will now begin to see some object snap glyphs as long as I've got my button turned on. So I, I changed my settings, but I never actually clicked the button to turn it on. So if I click the button, it goes blue. That indicates that it's been turned on. Now I'll see some object snap glyphs. So basically you see a square for an endpoint. I have to put my mouse there. I'll get a little preview of endpoint. And then on a circular shape, I'll get a little circle to show my center. Now one thing to point out about a snap is that you don't actually have to move your mouse to that point. I can just hold it over the circle. And as long as it's highlighting, it's going to jump to it. So if I want to start my fence, I can start here at the endpoint. And then again, I'm not going to move my mouse to the center, which I can if I want to, but I just want to show you that as long as it's highlighting, I can click and it's going to jump to that center. So very quickly now, I can construct the fence for this particular property, and I can do it accurately. Of course, I'll just hit escape once I'm done. Then uh, when constructing the roof line here, I'm going to start at the midpoint of this line right here. So the midpoint is not showing up because I, I have not set that in my running modes yet. So I'm going to click the drop down next to object snaps and turn on midpoint. Then again, I can come back out to my screen and now I will see a triangle for the midpoint. I can click there to begin. And as I come over here to this wall or this roof line, I should say, I want to actually go perpendicular to that line. Right now, I'm only getting the midpoint and the end point. So I could certainly go and change my running mode and add perpendicular, but I want you to see how to do an override, which is only good for one click. And that's by with your left hand holding the shift key or the control key, and then right clicking your mouse. So what we call a shift right click. And then in the little shortcut menu that pops up, I will be able to choose the appropriate snap that I'm looking for. So here is perpendicular. Like I said, this is only good for one click. So for one click, all I'm going to get are perpendicular snaps. Notice no more endpoints or midpoints or centers. It's all perpendicular. So I can go ahead and click the perpendicular, and now it's back to endpoints, midpoints, etc. So that's the big difference between an override and a running. Running, they're always on. Overrides, it's just good for one click. So to finish this one out, I'll go to the midpoint perpendicular to this line. So shift right click perpendicular click on that line and I can come back to this point and then I'm going to have to draw a construction line perpendicular over here. Shift right click perpendicular and that will allow me to draw back up to the ridge of this roof, escape out and delete my construction line. So the thing you want to do when you're dealing with object snaps is you want to balance the running modes with your overrides. So if I find that I'm using a snap over and over again, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and put it in my running mode. The problem is you don't want to put too many on in your running mode because they will begin to conflict with each other. For example, if I turned on center, quadrant, and tangent all at the same time, when I hover over a circle, I might not see the exact snap that I'm looking for. So you, again, you just kind of have to balance which ones you put in your running modes with your overrides and that should help you be a successful drafter.